Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing a video recording on the basic communication with TurtleBot 3 using ROS and Python. So what is ROS? ROS is an open source beta operating system that provides services expected from an OS. It also provides tools and libraries for obtaining, building, writing, and running code across multiple computers. ROS data can be communicated by and is also supported by multiple OS, hardware, and programs. Thus, it's highly suitable for robot development. With all ROS project, starts with creating a workspace. I'll be going through how a workspace is created later in the video. What Catkin is commonly seen and heard is actually the successor to the original ROS build system, ROS build. So currently, Catkin is the official build system of ROS to generate executables, libraries, and interfaces. Next, we have a ROS package, which contains ROS nodes, libraries, datasets, configuration files, and anything that contributes to the module. Later in the video, you'll be hearing more about ROS nodes, ROS lawn, and ROS topics. A ROS node is a single purpose external program, which runs in an environment and is communicating with each other in various ways. ROS lawn is also a tool for launching multiple nodes as well as setting parameters. Lastly, ROS topics is just a channel for communicating messages among nodes. A ROS topic has a fixed message type. It can publish on a topic to send messages, or it can also subscribe to a topic to receive messages from other nodes. For the topics, it can be communicated as follows, one to many, many to one, or many to many. The last, last thing would be the ROS packages. TurtleBot 3 ROS package includes the following TurtleBot 3, TurtleBot 3 underscore messages, TurtleBot 3 underscore simulation, TurtleBot 3 underscore application. These three, uh, four packages contain these following items. Now moving on to the setup. So for the initial setup, if you have not done this before, you will need to install ROS on a remote PC. You can do so by updating the application and upgrading it when necessary. Next would be to install the dependent of the ROS packages. Followed by installing the TurtleBot 3 packages. Once the packages is completed, you can set the TurtleBot 3 model name. Lastly, we will be using a simulation called Gazebo to install the simula simulation package. The steps are as follows. For more information, you can click the link or you can visit these websites to see more on the instruction for the setup. Now, assuming that you have created the workspace expansion, we will change our directory and we'll be controlling or we'll be communicating via Python. So we'll create a Python uh, code name. Let's name it total bot. Since I've already created my program, I'll be showing you what's inside. So this is the basic code for communicating with the TurtleBot tree. First, we'll be importing ROSPy library, and we'll be including the geometry underscore MSDS message, where we'll be importing trees, which will set the parameters for the linear and angular uh, velocity of the TurtleBot. Next, we'll be creating a class and in this class, there will be two defined functions. First would be the initialization function. And the second one would be the 
shutdown function. In the first function, we will include the init, init, init underscore mode where we will have the shuttlebot node as the, the communicating node and we will set this to true. We can set it to false because there is only one node at the moment, but if there are multiple nodes in the future, this is necessary to be set as true so that this will be a unique node. Next, we have the log info. The log info acts as like a print, a print message where if you were to shut down the total bot, you will have to press Control C. And then we have this uh, on shutdown, we will have a self shutdown function which is defined below here. Next, we have a publisher where the message, uh, the topic would be the CMD underscore bell. I'll be showing you how I got this uh, topic list. And then we will have the message type or class, uh, which is a twist class, and the argument, which is a queue size of 10. And then we will have to include these parameters, which is to control the uh, total robot linearly or angularly. As you can see here, it's set to 100 zero zero and 000, zero 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 0.8. Uh, we can actually uncomment this, it doesn't matter because if you don't define it, it will be default set to zero. But for complete sake, I'll set the linear um, speed to one and the angular to 0 0.8. Or maybe I can change this to 0 0.8 and I can reduce the angular velocity of the ZX is to 0 0.5. And change this later if the speed is too fast or too slow. Next, we will have the Rospi rate, which is set to 30. It's a, it's a, it's to loop. It's a number of times you want to loop the, the function. And while the Rospi is not shut down, we will publish it to the topic list. And in the shutdown function, we will have the Rospi log info to tell the user that you are stopping the total bot. We will also tell the publisher to reset the twist back, the parameters back to 000. zero, zero. And we'll have a sleep. Set to one is just to prevent any of the functions from uh, exiting prematurely. And lastly, we we'll have the main function. So we can go we'll use try and accept. We'll you'll try and use the turtle bot node. And then when the turtle bot uh, is interrupted, you skip. And if it's terminated, it will display not terminated. So now I'll just show you what is the code all about. So Using the burger instead of the waffle. And now we'll be using the Ross lines. Ross lines. We'll be launching the simulation gazebo. So as you can see on the right side, here is the robot tree. This is the z-axis, the x, and the y. 
now I will show you the list, uh, topic list. Last topic list. So here's the list of topics, and then you have the CMP underscore cell is the mess the topic that we are using. And now you will run the code. So it's total for py. So we have set it to move in the x direction, x direction 0 0.8 and about the z axis at 0 0.5. Okay. So we we'll run code. Now you can see it's moving and it's moving out of frame. So I'll probably want to reduce the speed so that it can make better turns. Okay, so I'm going to press Ctrl C to watch it stop. Okay, there we go, it stopped. Now I'm going to reduce the speed. What the x five and we'll leave the angular at five so it'll probably be going in circles. I'll save the file. And I'll put this now. See it like again. I'll run the Python code. Now it's moving much lower, and you can see that the turn is much more controlled. So this is how you can control the the bot tree using Python code. So this is the end of the video recording. Thank you for watching and goodbye.